what I've seen with lots of students is sometimes they really struggle getting their thoughts down um, onto paper or onto the computer. Uh, if you talk to them about it, they have all sorts of ideas that they're willing to share and convey, but as soon as you ask them to write them down or to transfer them or to type them onto a, a Google Doc, uh, it's a real struggle for them to go from their thoughts, seeing what letters to type, and then typing those letters and make sh making sure that they're spelled correctly. We have tried speech-to-text, and we have had some varying success with that. Um, this is something else to maybe add to your arsenal uh, when you're working with your students on just simply understanding what they're thinking uh, could work for an assessment um, to have them convey their thoughts on a certain topic and then you can just listen to them um, in your own time or at home or wherever uh, you need to to assess where those students are at with that certain topic so let me show you so the student what the student would have to do is the student would have to download from the, the web store. So have the student go to the web store and once they're in the web store they're gonna look for a specific app called MicNote. And what it is is it's a um, audio recorder and a notepad. So we're gonna install this into our web browser and if you have the launcher installed or the desktop launcher it'll show up here if you don't you'll just click new tab go to your apps and it'll show up down here so once I click on it what it'll do is it'll create an account it will probably ask me to um, accept it to my Google Drive and once I've done that now I have this note and I can record I can type I can do all sorts of things right onto this document if I want to. This is nothing new with um, Google Apps for Education, with Google Docs, we can make notes, uh, we can make documents right from there, but the real power is up here where we can actually record notes. So for example, if I wanted to make a new note, I could just click on the new button, and right now it says unnamed note, so let's just call it um, test note one for Mr. Watson. So now that I've made that, it has named that file for me. And what I want to do, this would be the first time that I'd be working with students, as we want to go to their settings, and we want to make sure that the destination for the database is to the Google Drive. We also want to make sure that for the export, we want to auto-export these to Google Drive as well. And we want it in a certain format so that we can listen to it directly in Google Drive. So we change this from the mic note extension to the MP3 extension. And what that'll do is that'll allow me to create an MP3 and it will automatically save or store it in my Google Drive. So I'm going to sync this. So now I have this app installed on my browser and I've created a, a note called test note for Mr. Watson and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click record. So I click record, and now it's going to record everything that I say as long as I don't click this button again. And I actually have up to 45 minutes that I can record. So, for example, if the student, uh, you ask the student to tell them all about uh, dolphins, then you could, the student could start uh, talking about all the facts that they learned about dolphins or from the reading about dolphins. And then as a, as a teacher, you can just go back and listen to it. So I'll click stop on this. And now this is stopped recording. I have 30 seconds of recording. I typically tell the students to always sync it just to make sure. And now it's going to save this to my drive. So now if I go back to my web store here, I'm going to just make a new tab. I'm going to go to my apps. I'm going to go to my drive. And here in my drive, I'll have a couple folders. I'll have Mike Note exports. When I double click on it, here's that test note for Mr. Watson. I also have this welcome MP3 uh, that automatically uploaded. But I have this, the one I double click on it, record. And now it's going to record everything that I say as long as I don't click this button again. All right, so the student has now made an MP3. It is saved in their drive. And all they would have to do is just make sure that they share it with their teacher.
and then I click send. So if I go in as a teacher, so I'll just sign in as myself, and I'll bring up this, oops, in the shared with me folder, there's a folder called Mike Exports. And now as a teacher, I can go in, double click on that student's file, and it will automatically play that file for me. So now cool. I have, and now it's going to record everything that, so now I can listen to what the student's saying, and then I could go into a Google Doc, provide some feedback for that student, or I could just sit and talk to them and say, hey, you know, this is really good. Have you thought about this? Or what about this as an idea? I really like this where you, you said this, those sorts of things. So pretty um, good way of getting that information from the student um, with using, not necessarily using speech to text, uh, but getting their speech down to an idea. Thanks for watching.